okay, uh, I can bring it in and you're gonna see it. Okay. Right, come on in. Meeting show. Let me move my meal, you can take pictures. Well, you know, as I reported previously that I'm going to tell tell you guys that about the sparks and I can't wait to see them. And Tesla coils worked, they, they were perfect and the sparks were going everywhere basically. We had to move people from the stage as far as we could because the sparks were flying all around. I couldn't believe it, it was such an awesome day. The music was good, the security was tight, everything, everything. The tents were high, so I, I, have no, I had no problem, that was awesome for me. Hi, my name is Clay Lapley and uh, I represent Franklin Homeowners Insurance Company. And we're proud to be the gold sponsor of the Tesla event here this weekend. And uh, I guess a lot of different ways. Ben Franklin, we got who we get our name from. And of course, uh, Ben and, 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 and uh, Nicole, they, they were pioneers in that industry. And we actually do flood insurance, so we have a little bit of water involved here for <laughs> electricity kind of things. And we're always, all of us, looking for. Uh, alternative energy uh, uh, resources uh, for the future. But we all know that flooding is going to be with us uh, continually uh, as long as we continue to inhabit the earth. So we're uh, happy to uh, assist the general public uh, through the federal flood program and taking care of everybody's flood needs. And we're very happy to be part of the Tesla event this weekend. Thanks, Good. Nick. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Without uh, Franklin Insurance, we will definitely not be able to do this event. Uh, they take a lot of printing, a lot of advertising material, and uh, definitely that's our golden sponsor is a really golden sponsor to us. I hope they're going to have enough business from this and going to yes. be sponsors again next year. Sure will. We appreciate thank, it. Thank you very much, and I really, really appreciate it. Anytime. Thank you. You give me a really, really good idea, and uh, I think I'm going to put this in our board uh, for discussion. Okay. Talking about museum being open all over the country. Well, let's do with first one, and, and I do believe that the best and the most symbolic place would be a Warden Cliff. Absolutely. The, the place where he had his last uh, lab. Um, station and, and where he worked and this is I think America owes to herself <laughs> one museum Tesla do you think uh, other cities like Philadelphia because we want to open club well, and yes part of the part of the club really gonna be museum and we're probably gonna have really good uh, we already have really good cooperation with Belgrade Museum and uh, we have a lot of different uh, things what we can well, put in. Of course. So, I mean, since you are stationed here, it right. makes sense. Um, just logistically, Wardenclyffe is more Absolutely. legible. Absolutely. But if you can do it here, anywhere, just, I mean, he so desperately needs a museum that I don't know. But you know? Uh, I really did not think before I was in your house and you gave me this idea. I have to admit, this happened first time uh, that time. I was only thinking about cl club, about place where we're going to sell books about Tesla. I have different movies and everything, but museum is really solution. Well, I think. it's just order of things. Um, when you make a mu t museum right. of, for for any person that deserves to have a museum, and Tesla certainly is one Absolutely. of them. Um, then you have lots of tourists, lots of people who visit, the information. It's the most legible place to spread the information and spread the word. And I think we're at the point where that has to happen. Dr. Maglic is a uh, founder of Inter Tesla International Society from Colorado Springs. And uh, he come here tonight to share 
some really interesting story. We don't want to talk in a front room camera about this. We're gonna, uh, you, you're gonna hear that. Yeah, you have to wait for that. Uh, but I really would love to hear something from you. What is your experience when you started this in the 80s and how was uh, 84? So how was things uh, going? And well, I tell you, it was very interesting. It, it took only one week or so to realize that there is like an explosion of interest for the society. It's explosion. They were asking many people calling and asking, can we join? How, what should we do? Stuff like that. Even today, you know, I feel very, very upset that I'm kind of, what am I, tired or something? They still ask me, let's build a museum here. I will do that. I even wanted to buy a house for the museum, but it somehow didn't work out. Still interest. But we are interested. We're really looking right after the Long Island Museum is uh, finished in uh, in. With Jane Alcon and people to be really planning to open museum in Philadelphia. Uh, there would be Tesla Club with museum with little lab. And uh, would you be our advisor on that? Well, Nicola, I can tell you that whatever I can do to help, I am willing, and I don't need anything in return, no recognition, nothing. But uh, you also have to realize that I have a lot of other. So if we plan it right, probably it can work. Thank you. Thank That's you. how I feel. I think every your advice is going to be very, very valuable yeah. with all your experience. Thank you very much. We really appreciate you here with us. Thank you. Michael is the gentleman who come one day to us and uh, say I really want to sponsor a dinner and whole event evening. Uh, I was really surprised. I was, I was shocked to death. I did not know. I can't believe this was true. And uh, Michael come in this beautiful place and uh, order food for 150 people and pay all these expenses and everything. We will not be able to have this event tonight without Michael. Michael, really, thank you. I really appreciate it. So, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. We have uh, Jane Alcon and Grace here from uh, uh, Long Island Project. I think it will be way better uh, if they explain what's happening, uh, actually, when they start all this thing, and what's happening, where, is, where are they standing now? Well, um, we're from Long Island, from, uh, and we're working at a project um, on Warding Cliff, and it's in Shoreham on the north shore of Long Island. And you can see from the pictures that this is the way uh, Warding Cliff once looked. And Tesla had his friend Stanford White design the building for him. Stanford White was one of the uh, most famous architects of his time. And the tower, which was to be his crowning glory, his um, communications and uh, power transmission tower. Um, we're, we've been working on this for about 15 years now. We'd like to save that building. It's a historic building and scientifically and, and historically important. And we, um, this is the site plan, the grounds as they stand now. There are a number of other buildings there. We'd like to re have those buildings removed um, with the exception of the laboratory building and we would like to restore that building and we'd like to readaptively use it as a science museum and learning center and an archive in Tesla's legacy. Chris, do you have something to say to us about this project? The building has been, uh, was built at the, uh, in the early 1900s and uh, fairly soon the tower was also built and as we know the uh, building uh, uh, the project had to be given up when Tesla uh, couldn't find any more funding for it. It would have been a world transmission center, a world wireless energy transmission center, and the research done at Wardenclyffe uh, continued on the research that uh, Tesla did in Colorado Springs, where he already transmitted power in a um, limited fashion over several miles distance. So Wardenclyffe was to be the, uh, the crowning piece of uh, his research, but also the beginning of uh, more an industrial enterprise where uh, he envisioned to transmit power uh, across the globe. And Wardenclyffe was supposed to be only one of these, uh, the, the very first of these towers. Okay, uh, I want to introduce uh, Frank Taney, who is uh, our board member and also one of our uh, sponsors. 
uh, but also he giving us all legal advice and doing a lot of different work for us. And uh, I would love to ask him to tell me how he's seeing us uh, in the next few years and what he's thinking about our, uh, our work. Well, I, I was excited to see the proclamation from the Mayor Nutter, the fact that uh, it, it mentioned the group, it mentioned Nikola's te uh, Nikola Tesla's contribution to the society and the world and this country, the fact that he would, he would give two whole days over as Tesla days. I think it speaks volumes about what this group is doing, what Nikola Tesla, the recognition of, of his legacy. And I think the, the science uh, uh, conference that I sat in on, seeing these world-class scientists from all over the world, cutting-edge stuff, it, it, it's intersecting um, you know, the need for free energy and, and clean tech right at a very important point in our nation's economy. I think I see only bigger and better things for this group. Thank you, Pink, uh, and thank you for giving us space for uh, having conference in your offices. Being on 32nd floor is really gorgeous, it's absolutely gorgeous. Also, having all this legal advice for free, having you on our board, it's absolutely wonderful. Uh, so, our next step is actually, Monday we're starting preparation for next year. If I understand, we're going to be from July 4 to July 10, whole week have conference next, next year. So you're going to have a lot of work with us. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm glad to do it, and you shall have my continuing help and support. Thank you, Frank. Thank you. Okay, here we have Dr. Lyubomir Vujovic, uh, president of uh, Tesla Society New York and general secretary for Worldwide Tesla Society. Uh, we have a lot of help from Dr. Vujovic, uh, a lot of different good advices and experience from 40 years. What he has is uh, really, really good for me to learn. Uh, one thing what uh, Dr. Vujovic, uh, last thing what Dr. Vujovic is doing is uh, promoting Tesla Days. Uh, uh, it's supposed to be recognized by United Nations. And our group got involved uh, because Dr. Vujovic wants us to be involved. So can you tell us something about it? Yes, I am very happy to be here tonight. Oh, look at him, sir. Ah, yeah. I'm very happy to be here tonight, and I am very enthusiastic about action, what you're doing here. I think that's a great thing to have a Nikola Tesla days. We actually, uh, Tesla Society from New York, and Tesla Society from Australia, which is a uh, Tesla forum, and in the li last time also your organization joined us to proclaim Nikola Tesla day through United Nations. We made a suggestion about that, for uh, since 1902, uh, 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 but at that time was uh, this, uh, you know disintegration of Yugoslavia, etc., and we couldn't do it. But now there is a new, a renewed interest in whole Balkan, in Serbia, in Montenegro, in Croatia, about that, and we would like to have that done maybe next year if it is possible to proclaim Nikola Tesla Day as a day of science. Uh, we had a, 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 in last October, day of uh, uh, Nelson Mandela, who, is a pres who was a president of the South African Union, because his birthday was taken as a, as a day of peace. We, at that time when we actually uh, had uh, the action t uh, you know, started, we got a letter from the uh, Secretary of United uh, uh, Nations, Kofi Annan, who advised us that one country which is a member of the United Nations supposed to bring the proposal to uh, General Assembly for voting. And we're hoping that uh, it will happen. There is a lot of interest about that. And uh, with the uh, help of uh, uh, Mr. Nicola Lonchar and other organizations in the United States and abroad, we hope we'll do that. Thank, thank you, Dr. Wojcic. Thank, thank you. you. And I thank hope uh, we're going to cooperate and cooperate for years and years. Thanks yes, a lot. Yes. 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 I would love to introduce Miriam Sadler and uh, she will tell us a few, thing, a few words about the proclamation what we just got from the mayor in the city of Philadelphia. Yes, okay, well, we're really happy to be able to get it and um, it reflects, I think that they 
the city was interested because the mayor is solidly behind getting uh, conservation and, and new energy as a priority in Philadelphia, um, and that's that you'll hear that in in the proclamation that there are research uh, groups that are going on in Philadelphia right now for alternative energy, and I think that they understood when we approached them that Tesla is a wonderful inspiration for all that. So, uh, Miriam, without you, we will definitely not have that proclamation. That's no question about it. I was and, uh, thrilled that I they really, came through. I really appreciate it, and I'm okay. really glad you're part of our group. I'm and, very glad uh, to be here. I'm they, amazed at what you've gotten together here. People yeah. are going to see later your other project, yes. and you're going to... Uh, yes. It feels like a real community of uh, Tesla people here. Yeah, that's amazing that you've been able to do that. Thank you. Thank I'm, you. I'm in I really, awe. I really appreciate yeah. all your help. Okay. Thanks a lot. Okay. My name is David Voich. I'm the chairman of the Tesla Science Foundation. And I'm delighted here to have as one of our honored guests here and speaker, uh, Mr. Jerja Matkovic. Mr. Matkovic represents the embassy of the Republic of Serbia. Uh, he is their first counselor, and he has agreed to join us this evening for this very eventful occasion. I'd like to ask uh, uh, Councilor Matkovic a, a few questions with respect to uh, Serbia's role in seeing the uh, Tesla Science Foundation supported, and more importantly, how they see uh, the Tesla uh, uh, Science Museum in Belgrade, for example, interfacing what, what we have established here in the United States. Mr. Matkovic. You and I have discussed this on several occasions in the past, and again, we welcome you, uh, you. to Philadelphia and appreciate Thank your you attendance much. and your participation. Uh, let me ask you a question with respect to how Serbia, uh, first of all, how you, as a representative of the embassy, uh, uh, has uh, found this event uh, so far. First of all, uh, let me thank you very much for the invitation. It's really a great honor for us to be present at this uh, conference. And uh, I am really amazed with uh, what you have accomplished here. Uh, we were at the presentation, uh, the free library uh, this afternoon, and uh, there were lots of uh, presenters, and uh, we were amazed with their knowledge and their talent about Tesla. So uh, I congratulate to you and uh, also the embassy is supporting very much uh, the activities which we, you are doing here. Uh, we have met, as you uh, told earlier, several, on several occasions and uh, you were very kind to come to our embassy to visit us uh, together with Mix and Nikola Launcher. And we support very much the activities of the, uh, of the Tesla Science Foundation because we think that by spreading the word about Tesla, we are actually uh, doing a great job to the whole uh, mankind and for the humanity and for uh, advancing the technology in the world. And you can well appreciate, uh, Mr. Councillor, our objective here is to establish collaboration with the Republic of Serbia with respect to our efforts here in gaining an all-important recognition of Tesla. And anything that you all recognize as providing us with the support resources would be overwhelmingly appreciated. Absolutely. Absolutely. We, we are actually uh, in, in contact with the government of Serbia to see some ways to help more the uh, Tesla Science Foundation here. As you mentioned earlier, the Nikola Tesla Museum in Belgrade is also uh, in close cooperation with the government of Serbia. And we will uh, do our best to see, uh, to fund, uh, if possible, the uh, work of this foundation. Uh, Serbia has, I, I would like to inform you that Serbia has signed uh, this year uh, scientific and technological cooperation agreement with the United States and this uh, agreement uh, came into effect a few months earlier and uh, it provides a wide framework of, uh, for scientists of both nations uh, to cooperate and I think it would be a good basis also for uh, the cooperation with the Tesla Science Foundation. Mr. Councillor, it's indeed a great pleasure to have you join us and participate in our event, and we ho hope that you will return in the future. Thank, thank you so much for your certainly. kind words. I will certainly. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.
So we are having a special dinner banquet uh, because we are celebrating Tesla's birthday. We have a three-day conference. Uh, it's called Energy Independence Celebrations. We have various speakers and topics around the city. Uh, this is a very special night because we'll have dinner and talks and then a concert, uh, Divine Hand Ensemble, uh, playing theremin, very interesting instrument, we'll play after in different room. So it's going to be five to six hours of fun. <laughs> I'd like to take just a few moments before we open the program to pay, to pay a, a, a special uh, gratitude and thanks to those sponsors who are with us this evening who without their sponsorship, support, and providing us with the resources necessary to orchestrate this event would not have been possible. We are indeed honored to see you have the guest with us who has agreed not only to attend but to participate in the event. And it is as much a memorable occasion for him as it is for us. Gentlemen representing the Embassy of Serbia from Washington, D.C. First Counselor, Mr. Jirja Malkovich. The First Counselor of the Embassy in Washington, Mr. Malkovich, was born in the town of Subotica, Serbia. Graduated from the University of Calgary and Faculty of Law in 1978. Served the various functions in Serbia and the former Yugoslavia embassies and foreign and many foreign ministers. He serves as a first counselor in the MC of Serbia in Washington. Please allow us your welcome to Mr. Makovic, Mr. Counselor. Thank you, David, for the kind introduction. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good evening, and uh, thank you very much for the invitation to be part of this magnificent conference here in the beautiful historic city of Philadelphia. Special thanks to the government and David Woods and all the people in the organizing committee who worked tirelessly to make this event possible. I have all with admiration uh, the lectures and presentation earlier today, and I was truly amazed to the enormous fun it is my privilege to convey to you the principles of the Oscar Republic of Serbia of the United States of America and definitely in the one of the best in the world that has a passion to create a phenomenal and fascinating example of the human prospect and the possibility for a better world for everyone. Thank you for attention and hope. Serving American veteran, 
Tesla. Uh, Nikola Tesla has been called the greatest inventor he never do. T45 and a similar name. He, his name was Bran Evonchevic. Well, he beats you for for each for a little each. And I decided I better come and try to help. Tensky, along with her came Serbian nobles who settled in the cities of Medvedgrad by Zagreb, Rakovac by Vrbovina, and greater and lesser Kamnik by Križevac. Dr. Dushan Kašić writes that Croat Mons and these excursions by incursions by the Ottoman Turks caused the Croats to flee from their traditional land. Electromagnetism. As I approach the pitch antenna, it gets higher in pitch. I control its volume with my left hand. This first piece that we'd like to perform for you this evening, we consider a little bit of a theme for Nikola Tesla and all the wonderful things he's done and left us with for next generations to learn about electricity and wireless technology. This piece is called La Boulange. John, when you're ready, take it away.
how did you get the, in the research of Nikola Tesla? How all these things start? Well, it started uh, with um, a long life uh, devotion to his work uh, by my father's experience. He liked his uh, lectures, he liked his books, he liked his, his researches. So I always liked, liked him, but one day I, I was thinking about women in his life and I decided to choose one and maybe write about her. So that's an interesting thing, because Mr. Yeager is also an expert in that area. And uh, I always, always thinking, like, what is really behind all this writing? Different uh, writers writing different things. He closed the project in Long Island because of uh, ethics reason, because somebody can abuse the whole project. If they take the, uh, all this electricity, they have enough power, they can do whatever they want. They can burn the rest of the world. So I think that's the reason why the project stopped. Um, because when he walk out, he say, "When time comes, uh, time maybe is maybe is now there." And I, it's very difficult for me to believe all these stories with people riding Tesla and wife of this guy or Tesla and uh, you know his friend daughter. You know, I, I just can't believe it. Somebody who had, who had that much that ethic developed in that level will do something. It's very difficult for me to believe. Tesla is a mystery, a real mystery. So you can... What is the most important? He always stayed true to his words. And he was really a moral person. So. Right, but, but again, this, this thing with women is a little bit shaky for me. And, yes, uh, yes. You cannot prove anything when you right. talk uh, about Tesla and women. So some say he never touched a woman. Some say he had some relationships. Right. The fact is that a lot of women were in love with him.